mostly light glasses on this morning because I have been editing and Paisley dropped a toy. I'm trying to watch This Is Us um, Tuesday night's episode. So I'm trying to watch that. And then um, I made my coffee. And I thought yesterday when I made it that I only used like three tablespoons of creamer. Wrong. I used a lot more than that. Um, this morning I used six tablespoons, which is 150 calories. So that's not great. Um, and then I used one tablespoon of sugar. Um, and it doesn't taste as good as it did yesterday because I put a lot of creamer <laughs> in it yesterday. Um, but I'm using a different cup, so it's kind of hard to tell the difference. You know, I should have used the same cup to see like how it would have evened out. But so I definitely need to find a better sweetener um, than just regular sugar because um, in the creamer. Like if I used some kind of syrup that wasn't too high in calories, that would be better. There's Milo and Paisley. I've got to get this kid's nose cleaned. Sorry. Um, she just woke up. So I made her chocolate milk and that's as far as we've gotten. Um, so yeah. So I definitely need to find a healthier option for... I mean the creamer is not that bad for one tablespoon. The silk almond creamer, the caramel, it's 25 calories. Like I don't feel like that that is that bad. But... <laughs> Um, I definitely, bless you, I definitely need to find a better sugar substitute than sugar. And something that'll give it a little bit more sweetness. And I'm fixing to make Kodiak cakes. I'm going to make waffles though. Um, so I'm using the waffle recipe. I've been wanting to try these. I don't even know how much I paid for this. I know it's probably not cheap. But I've been wanting to try them for a long time. So I just bit the bullet and did it. So we'll see how they taste. I hope they taste good. But yeah, I'm gonna mix those up real quick and do that for breakfast. And then I'll figure out what she wants for breakfast. So, let's get on with the day. And I'm gonna try to fix myself up a little bit more than I am right now. I'm trying to FaceTime my mom. Hello? Hello? Tell, tell her, tell her. <laughs> Dad, tell her. Tell her what we <laughs> tell her what we practice. <laughs> tell her, Milo, get out of her face. Say, say happy anniversary. Happy no, you gotta say it loud. First day, first. No, no, say happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It is today, right? Yeah. Okay. Look, we got it right this year. Yay, Mommy! I always get it messed up. Happy birthday, Say happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Okay, so I followed the instructions that the box said, which is... Uh, one cup of Kodiak cakes mix, one cup of water, and one tablespoon of oil to make waffles. It's so watery. Like, look. So next time, I'm just going to mix it until it looks right and not listen to the box. And I probably won't put the oil in there because I don't think I've ever put oil in pancake mix. And when I do waffles I usually just do pancake mix like I'm making pancakes so I mean they're turning out okay I guess that's my second one I've done the first one was a terrible mistake but here it is cooking that's hot <laughs> okay part of that was my fault part of that was my fault with the the mix because when I got to the bottom of this cup bowl thing um, there was a lot of powder that the uh, pancake mix that still hadn't been mixed up good. So it looks like this next one might turn out really pretty. I hope so because this is looking like a hot mess. <laughs> oh Lord. 
trial and error. It's my first time using these types of pancakes. I feel like protein is just kind of harder to mix up, you know? So, I just got to get used to it. So here's my breakfast. Um, there's four little pancake waffle dillios there. Um, it made like eight. Those look ugly, but these looked pretty. So I, I'm gonna eat them first, and I may put those away or just put them in the trash. But I don't like to waste food, so I'm probably just gonna put them in a bag. Um, so yeah, four pancakes. Because this was two servings. Because um, half a cup is one serving. And I used one cup. So these is two servings. And I used one tablespoon of maple syrup. And one tablespoon of whipped cream. So I'm excited. by far the best protein pancakes I have ever ate. Wow. Um, now I get what the hype is. Uh, but now I get, I understand why everybody's like Kodiak cake pancake mix because those were amazing. They didn't even really taste like um, they had protein powder in them, which is awesome. Not saying that protein powder is bad, but sometimes it has that, like, that chalky taste, you know? And these did not have that. Every time I've made protein pancakes, I'm pretty sure there's Gummy banana in it, pancake. which is fine. I like bananas, but also like sometimes like the banana overpowers like the rest of the pancake, the rest the rest of the flavor. So I really enjoyed those for sure. So I'm definitely gonna have to. Um, it's probably gonna be a staple breakfast for me. I need to figure out how many calories it was. I tried to do pretty decent. Um, we'll see. So, I'm not sure if I said, I think I did say in, in a vlog somewhere, I've vlogged all, all week this week, so I'm not sure where I'm at as far as things that I've filmed and everything, but I, I'm pretty sure I said um, that I have started counting calories now because I was just kind of stuck and not really seeing results with intermittent fasting. Well, I don't know if it's better yet because I haven't um, weighed in. I'm, I'm gonna try to just weigh in every week, um, every Monday. So I'm gonna see if counting calories will work better for me. I'm using my fitness pal and I think it allows me 1200 calories a day right now. Um, and that's to lose two pounds a week. So we'll see if I see a difference. Um, Cause I, since the second week basically of January, like the first full week of January is when I started eating better and I've lost three pounds total. And to me, that's just not that great for being over a month because with Weight Watchers, I saw results a lot faster. Um, and essentially Weight Watchers is a lot of smart points and calorie counting kind of, it like does that for you, but it's a little bit easier I think than counting calories. But, um, no Milo. But I'm just gonna try to count calories and see where I get with that. And then if I'm not seeing good results with that, I may try Weight Watchers again. I'm not really sure. But, I wanna get to my goal. So, you know. I got a nose to clean, so I got to go. Okay, so my breakfast in total was 510 calories. The coffee creamer was not my best decision. And the chocolate chips, I had like seven eighths of a tablespoon. So next time I'm gonna try to go easy on the coffee creamer or find a better sweetener um, that will make up for the sugar. Cause I'm not, I'm only using a tablespoon of sugar, which I don't feel like is that bad. Um, but I need something that'll taste sweeter than the sugar to make up for not using as much creamer. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, but I need to use less creamer and I need to not put chocolate chips in my, the glare on these glasses. I need to not put chocolate chips in my pancakes. Yeah, geez, sorry, cocoa melons on. 
they, they're singing brain fog for a second. Okay, so you guys are not even ready for this. Carrie Underwood announced her track list for her album that's coming out, My Savior, and it's, I'm so excited. It's like songs that you would hear growing up in church that you sang all your life in church. And um, we're getting, if this person is correct, and I think that they are, we're getting softly and tenderly tonight at midnight. <laughs> I cannot wait. I, I mean, I've heard her sing it live at the CMAs, I believe it was. Um, so I've heard her sing it live before, but I'm excited to see what the studio version sounds like and like the the music, the instruments, all that, what, what they've put on there. Um, yeah, so I'm super pumped about that. And I cannot wait for her album to come out. It comes out March 26th. Yeah, March 26th. So, yeah, I'm just waiting until midnight for a new song from Carrie Underwood. So excited. You guys have no idea. So, um, I just wanted to update you guys with that. And I did not drink all of my coffee this morning. So, I'm finishing it up now. I'm going to edit a vlog and then... Uh, my phone's charging, so I'm going to let it charge till about 2.30. And then I'm going to um, put my Fit52 app, get it going, and work out. I've got to work out while my kid is napping or it's not going to happen. This cover-up, by the way, it's a cardigan. It is Kalia, and it's the most comfortable thing. It's like wearing a blanket, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So... Now, I'm just going to, yeah, wait for my phone to charge for about 12 minutes, edit for those 12 minutes, and then work out. Because Paisley's already been asleep. She fell asleep about one, so she's probably gonna be waking up around three. So I really, it's almost, it'll be 2.30 by the time I get up and do my workout. My workout's only supposed to be like 30 minutes, I think maybe a little over 30 um so hopefully i can get it in before she wakes up or at least most of it i can get in before she wakes up but we shall see but i had i i mean i have no choice i have to get it in because i haven't worked out yet and also i hope you're okay with my no makeup face today i'm not going anywhere i'm stuck at home because the roads are bad there's ice all over the roads so I'm not getting out, especially with my two year old. So I've kind of been wearing these <laughs> to shield the whole no makeup look, you know, cause I feel like it makes me look a little bit more put together. Um, but you know, it's, it's my life. I can wear makeup if I want. I didn't, I just didn't see a point in putting it on today when I'm really not going anywhere like at all. So yeah. And then once she wakes up, I think I'm gonna tackle her clothes for maybe an hour or wash the dishes. I mean, I've gotta wash the dishes regardless, so I'll wash the dishes, tackle her clothes, do laundry. I'll figure it all out. We'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure Paisley just woke up from a nap and I haven't worked out yet in my phone. It's still on red with the battery because I've been texting about coffee and trying to figure out what kind of creamers and all this thing are good and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try to get a workout in and I'm whispering it so she doesn't hear me in case she is up but I'm pretty sure I heard her wake up. But as long as she's not crying, she's probably talking to her babies. So I'll check on her on the monitor and then work out. And even if she gets up, I'm gonna work out because I have to work out. <sighs> I should have got it in while she was napping, but I got distracted with other things. And my phone, like I said, is not charged.
super pumped about it. I did get my workout in, so I'm super pumped about that. Paisley was actually awake during the whole workout and surprisingly she didn't touch my phone and didn't change any of the workouts, so that was good. I got most of the dishes washed right now. I just need to wash a few more and then clean up my dishes from supper. Um, and then um, check and see if there's laundry to do. I feel like I'm pretty well caught up on laundry. And then I'll edit a vlog tonight, hopefully. I've already started on it some this afternoon. Um, so hopefully, hopefully I can get that up tomorrow um, so that you guys can watch it on Friday, because today's Thursday. I keep thinking today's Friday, but it's not. So anyways, I'm gonna eat, watch some YouTube videos on the TV, and yeah, that's basically it. But I'm super pumped about this. I am having a Coke, so yeah. I wanted one. What I'm about to show you is real life and probably relatable. So, while I was doing dishes, this happened. But you haven't seen anything yet. There's some hair bows. More hair things. A car. An apron. A hat. House shoes. And all of that. So, I'm so excited about this. 